good people, we want to say thank you. <laughs> President William Ruto will not be seated here today were it not for God's grace and mercy. The obstacles that had been put on his path to leadership were insurmountable. But your prayers and the prayers of the people of Kenya gave us a God-fearing leader who has started working in equally difficult circumstances. Sometimes I analyze. I thought that the path to our president getting into leadership was difficult. But I am now persuaded that getting through the government he's inherited, the economy, the problems bedeviling the people of Kenya is an equally even more difficult task. So we urge you to please continue praying for our president and his government, for God's once more to put his hand on him and give him wisdom to steer this country into economic prosperity and restore the dignity of the Kenyan people by eradicating poverty, encouraging business, and putting money into people's pockets. Your Excellency, I have seen our detractors are very concerned that we come to church every Sunday. I was reading the papers this morning, they were even saying that since you came to office, this is your 28th Sunday service. I want to save them that task of keep on counting. We have been church 52 Sundays every year for the next five years. So those editors who are signing reporters, the work of counting, don't please give them something else to do. We'll be in charge.